United Methodist Church is committed to continue this project until we wipe it out. We don't worry about it here in the United States, and we don't want anybody to have to worry about it. And so I know some of you have already put money in those uh, jars coming in, but as you go out this afternoon, we hope that you will give generously that we can together feel like we have made the world a little bit safer place for children and mothers and uh, people all across the world that still worry about these things. And now we'll go ahead and begin. This morning when I got up and walked out on my front porch, I found our wind chimes laying down um, alongside the house, both sets of them. They're big ones, and they're big. They're quite noisy. And I went in, and, and I asked my wife about it. She says, yeah, last night they were making so much noise that we decided we needed to take them down because they were keeping the neighborhood awake. So... <laughs> Um, so this afternoon, we're, we're making up for it because we're going to have a, a bells play a very organized and beautiful sound for us this afternoon, the, joy, uh, the Joyful Noise Handbell Choir. They've been uh, in existence for uh, 15 or 16 years now. Um, some of the original players are still there, are, are still playing with them. Uh, there have been some, uh, some turnaround, but um, the original director is no longer here, but now we have um, uh, Mary Lou... Uh, Maher and, and uh, Marjorie Orchard, who, uh, who co-direct the choir. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, uh, we do every, every month, on the second Sunday of every month, they play for us. And so we're looking forward to this. Oh, 
here every week and have uh, played um, quite a number of places since their beginning in 1995, um, the, including the International Clarinet uh, Association Convention. So uh, we welcome them this morning, this afternoon.
Thomas Simpson, the composer of the next piece. He was an important English musician who served in the courts of Northern Europe and therefore wrote for the aristocracy. We will be playing a galliard published in 1610, uh, that would be a year before the Bible. A galliard was a song and dance usually paired with a similar song and dance called a pavan that was done uh, first. And it was a slow, stately dance using the hesitation stamp step that we see at weddings. The galliard, however, which followed immediately, um, was played faster and uh, was much more lively and athletic with frequent hops. Everybody was, everyone was hopping. And then the man, <laughs> the, man the male dancer would try to impress his sweetheart with, with jumps and leaps. So she would stand and watch him as he jumped and leaped around her. Anyway, it was a, it's fun to watch. You can watch it on YouTube. 